Growing up as a child, I wanted to be exactly like my dad. My dad has traveled the world and learned all these amazing things about aviation. He met amazing people. He has seen places that I've only read about, and it's things you can only do if you're a pilot, and that's exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to get my pilot's license and fly to these places and experience life in an entirely different way. My name is Heather Marsteller, and I've been flying since I was literally a baby with my dad, who's also a pilot. He would stack phone books up on his seat whenever we'd go up so I could see out the window and help him navigate to the best of a little two-year-old's ability. Through the years, aviation has gone from being just a fun hobby to a really strong passion, and I decided that I really wanted to pursue it wholeheartedly. Okay, flaps are down. On your inside, check the fuel quantities, make sure that the indicators are working. Turn the master back off. We have to check the oil. It has to be between four and eight quarts of oil. And it's about a six, so we're good to go. Next, we have to take a fuel sample. Make sure the fuel is clear and there's no debris. And it has to be a very clear blue. Next, we have to check the prop, the leading edge of the prop for nicks, dings, scratches, dents. Make sure there's nothing building up on the inside of the plane. Now, every plane comes with a checklist, and it has instructions for before your flight, which is your pre-flight, and then your starting engine. So we're going to follow what it says for starting your engine. It says the master switch is on, which is here. Your carburetor heat is cold. The mixture is full rich. The primer is over here. You have to give that between two to five strokes of primer. So I enrolled in Flight Academy, and through my training, it really helped me appreciate life and all its intricacies and how it can parallel with aviation. And then the next thing is clearing the prop and starting the propeller. Clear prop. The most incredible thing about aviation is the feeling that you get right when you're taking off. Make sure the instruments are clear, the are free, the elevator is dead. Alright, now I have to set, set my throttle to 1700 RPMs. The attitude indicator needs to be flat and level. Alright, we'll make sure there's no one in the pattern, get ready to land and go. You give the engine full throttle, the plane starts shaking. You look around, the ground starts falling away, and you just climb higher and higher into the sky. The horizon gets lower and lower, and it's just you and the clouds, that's all there is up there. You chase the horizon all day long, don't worry about traffic, don't worry about people. It's just you having the most amazing experience of your life, viewing the world from a completely different perspective. The more 
I flew, the more I realized that certain aspects of my life were molded by my love of aviation, from friends to my ministry, even to school. One thing I really like to do is share my love of aviation with my friends. We were able to go to the Fort Worth Air Show and I was able to share some of my knowledge with them. has their passion that they love to share with other people and mine is aviation and to see my friends really take part and be excited about the different aspects of flying and everything that aviation has to offer it's truly rewarding. Flying wing to number two, the right wing wind from San Diego, California. Being a pilot has shaped my ministry because by be being able to defy gravity it gives you feeling that you can do anything else in the world and when you can get someone in the plane with you that either hasn't flown before or flown very little, it really puts questions into their minds, into their hearts. And just the, the feeling of utter freedom, it gives you a great opportunity to share my passion, which is Christ, and being able to share that with them gives it a completely different perspective than anything they've ever seen. Through my studies in aviation, I've developed a strong work ethic which I've been able to utilize in my academic studies. Understanding the importance of hard work and dedication really makes the payoff just that much sweeter. Everyone has their dreams and the horizons that they chase after. And there's always going to be feelings of hesitancy and inadequacy. But what I've learned is you can't let those doubts prevent you from reaching your goal. If you have a dream, chase after it. See where the horizon takes you. <laughs> <laughs> 